So you have just built yourself a beautiful PC and then you realize, uh oh, that Windows 11 license is quite a doozy. It costs quite a bit and you didn't want to or didn't plan to spend that much on Windows 11. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Windows 11 for a fraction of the price. So this video is sponsored by whokeys.com, but also they are the very reason how you can get Windows 11 for a fraction of the price. So let me walk you through it. How does it work? So first of all, depends where you are from and which retailer you're using. As you can see over here, I've got eBuyer here, which is one of the shops here in the UK and Windows 11 professional OEM license costs 126 pounds. One license. Yeah, there we go. And here's how you can get Windows 11 for your device. So at the moment, I'm gonna show you that, uh, obviously I am using Windows 11 over here, but this PC can run Windows 11 as well. But one of the big key steps in order for this to work is that you need to install Windows 10 for your system. And as you can see, my Windows 10 is not licensed at the moment. If I hit the Windows key and type in activation settings, then as you can see, I'm running the Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. And even if I upgraded this to Windows 11, it wouldn't be activated either. But if you have activated Windows 10 and upgraded to Windows 11, you've got activated Windows 11. And here's how you can get activated Windows 10. So we're gonna go to whokeys.com, or you can click the link in the description below, and this will take you directly to this product page over here. Now, once you have found this Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key global, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to the basket. If you have the account details for this whokeys.com website, you know, log in. If you don't, just make yourself an account so you can actually always go back to and see your orders if you need to get this key again for some reason. So I have already logged in. All you have to do is just add this to the basket, for example. So once you're in your cart, you click proceed checkout and you see it's a 13 pounds 41 at the moment. But if you use these codes in the description below, you can get 20 or 30% off depending when you're watching this. At the moment, there's a deal going on, so you can get it 30% off. But if that deal has run out, I still have a 20% discount code for you in the description below. So 20% discount code is a TN20. If you apply that, boom, you have 20% off. As you can see, it costs nine pounds and 39 pence. What we're going to do is we're going to submit the order, use your payment of choice and then complete the purchase. And as you can see on my account, I have actually purchased the code. Now it has gone through. I'm just going to check my email if there's anything I need to uh, check before it goes through. My phone says that yes, the payment has gone through the website. So it's just going to take a little bit of time. If you have the same thing that it says unpaid or something like that, just hit that refresh button. Boom. See, I just hit that refresh button and then it says completed here. And now we can see our keys. Now, as you can see, I've uh, purchased this before for some of my other builds and I've worked with them uh, like quite a long time on my channel. So you can trust them that they're all legit and stuff. If your key doesn't work, by the way, which has happened to me before as well, what you do is just send them an email, say, look, my key doesn't work. And then they'll sort you out because sometimes some of the keys don't work and then you'll be fine. They're very good to answering. Just go through the customer service and then that worked fine for me as well. So I'm going to press view keys and codes over here. I'm going to get the key. And for you, obviously this is blurred out for you over here, but I'm just gonna copy this. And then once you have copied this, we're gonna go to this um, Windows activation key here as well. We're gonna go change the product key. I'm gonna paste it in here and then we're gonna press next. It's just gonna go through, see if this key is going to work. And boom, it might take some time for you. It took me like a minute or two as well here. And it says Windows has been activated. Boom, I have a digital license of Windows 10 Pro. Now, if you just wanna use Windows 10 and you wanna get it cheap, boom, there you go, this is how you do it. But you're here for the Windows 11 upgrade or how you can get Windows 11 like license very, very cheap. So next up, what you can do is go for updates type in updates or check for updates in your windows there. And now when your PC meets the requirements of the system, sometimes you see this box on top of the updates uh, where you can say just like upgrade to windows 11. Now in my case, and it might be your case as well, it is not here. And if it is there, just go follow it. It's very, very simple. But if it's not here, this is how you can bypass this. Now what you're going to do next is type in to Google windows 11 install assistant. 
And then it takes you to this website called uh, Download Windows 11. This is like Microsoft website, it's brand new. And as you can see over here, this is Windows 11 installation assistant. Download that over here and install this. Okay, over here it says blah, 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 blah. You're very welcome to read that. Accept and install. Now it's gonna install this to our system. Okay, so this part took quite a long time, but what we're gonna do is restart now. Now, whenever you're doing upgrades to your operating system, make sure that all the necessary files have been backed up. Even though they say that you shouldn't lose any files, it's always good to have a backup. Okay, and these fonts are already Windows 11 fonts, so this should be already updating to the Windows 11 now. If you think that your PC might not have or meet their system requirements at the time of when you're watching this and you still want to upgrade, then most likely you will be able to upgrade still, but you might need to change some of the BIOS settings. So I'm gonna leave a link up there in the corner there where there's a video that explains all those settings that you might need to change on BIOS and things like that. So if you wanna check that out, check them out. Now, interesting thing is in the BIOS or Windows 11, we don't have all of our nice color scheme anymore. It all went red. Everything went red except the GPU. The GPU is still yellow. Okay, and look at this. We have Windows 11. We're gonna put in exactly the same pin as on the before PC and let's see if all of our files and things are the same. Obviously our RGB on the PC isn't the same. It just takes time to log in now because it gets things ready and is the first time booting up Windows. Okay, look at that. We are on Windows 11. Most likely you're gonna have to do some uh, updates straight away. So all of your other software might not be in date. So as you can see, the Armory Crate from Asus wants an update. So even though it thought that this is not installed, we might need an update for this. Then check that all of your software and everything is up to date, but hey, you know how to do that. But basically now we are on Windows 11. And if we go to activation settings, as you can see, activation state, it is active. We have fully activated Windows 11 Pro activation key and we only paid nine pounds for it, less than nine pounds. This is like more than 10 times cheaper. What is it? 130, I can't do the maths now. It's about 12, 13 times cheaper than the original key. And look at that, it works. Let's have a look at updates. Now, as you can see straight away, when you go to Windows 11, make sure you download all the updates and make sure that Windows 11 is up to date. Depending when you're watching this, most likely there's gonna be a lot of update schemes and things available. Now, what we wanna do is make sure that our RGB goes back to gold and black, and then we can finish this video. Ah, there we go, look at that. So this is how simple it is to get activated Windows 11 for your PC. Now remember all the links for the discount codes as well as the product is in the description below. So if you wanna go through that and make sure you use those codes, make sure that you check whether the 30% code works when you're watching this video. If not, the 20% code will work for sure. So you can get it extra cheap. Likes if you enjoy this video, subs if you'd like to see more and I'll see you soon. If you have any other comments, I'll meet you in the comment section below. Bye-bye.